that involve emotional intelligence, social skills, the art of happiness, which is a science, it's something you can study and you can master. The second skill is aspiration. It means teaching people to create bold visions of the future. Most of us think about visions of the future in terms of career or money or family, but there's more. There's visions for our character, for the impact we want to make on the planet, for our emotions. So we teach people how to create a complete vision of the future. But the third element is connection. And this is where the real magic happens. You are the sum of the five people closest to you. And that's why everything I do is about bringing people together to connect. Connections cause everything else to happen. And I want to share with you one small story of what happened tonight. So we found out at the last minute that this venue was not going to be able to hold the 200 people who RSVP'd. Um, and we were supposed to limit it to 50 people. Of course, I counted the 110 people here, so some of you snuck in. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to limit this to 50 people, but there were another 80 people whom we wanted to get a chance to, to bring into this, this family. Um, but me and Tiffany were up since 6 a.m. trying to find the perfect venue. And then, one of those connections that we made just through a mysterious series of coincidences fell into play. See, every time I come to LA, <laughs> I stay with people. I hate hotels because you can't have a conversation with your television in a hotel, so I always stay with friends. Today, for the first time, I'm in LA, and all the three people I normally stay with were out of town or were busy. So I ended up in a hotel. And I know that when shitty situations like that happen, there's a meeting, so I was up at night wondering, why am I in this damn hotel? <laughs> I get a call from Tiffany saying that Philip, um, who runs this place, is putting a cap, and we may need to find a second location. Now, the very next morning, I'm walking along Venice Beach, trying to think of the second location, and no idea is coming. I walk back to my hotel, and I realize that it's a JDD hotel, meaning it's owned by Chip Conley, who was a guest at Awesomeness Fest, and that Summit Series. And then I realized that the hotel has a beautiful rooftop bar. So I walk up to the bar, and it's perfect. It's one of the most beautiful locations in the city. So, because of that connection at Summit Series, at Awesomeness Fest, I knew Chip's email. I emailed him. Uh, he responded. He was in Colombia. I explained to him the situation. He responded, took time off his holiday, got his entire hotel staff mobilized, and within one hour, boom, we got the rooftop of the Urban Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> connections, connections matter, and that's why I want to urge you guys to form as many beautiful connections you can with the people in this room. There are about 110 people over here, another 80 or so waiting for us on the rooftop of the Urban Hotel. I don't know how we're going to pull it off because the rooftop, technically, the fire code is 98 people. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. If you guys can sneak into here, you can definitely sneak into here. <laughs> but, but the other thing I want to say is, if you liked the, um, the two hours you experienced over here, the people you connected with, I'm hoping you'd consider coming to my bigger event, which is Awesomeness Fest. It's happening in Maui. It's the first weekend of November. And, and uh, it's like this, but rather than three hours, it's three full days. And what I do is, I consider myself an architect of experiences. So I create specific emotional events that cause people to connect in a really beautiful way. Friendships, friendships are formed, people fall in love, people find a new business partners, and it all happens in an atmosphere of fun and learning. But there's something else which I want to announce to the group today. See, I was at Summit Series, and I heard this remarkable man speak about his life and his business. His name was Blake Mykoski. Any of you heard of him? Yeah. 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 Blake runs Tom's Shoes. Yeah, and, and I heard Blake speak, and he talked about how you could do so much more with business, and how with Tom's Shoes, every time you buy a shoe, he donates another pair of shoes to kids in Africa or South America, you know, who, who need shoes to get to school. Beautiful business model. Revenue is generated, but the most important thing is an impact is made on the planet. Tom Shoes has grown to about 110 people and they're making a positive change. And that inspired me and I was thinking, God damn it, what the hell am I doing for the planet? <laughs> so I, I, have about, I have about 10 different businesses. Most are, are not very big, but small businesses doing about a million or so. But my favorite business is Awesome and Spess because of all the fun that we have. And I made a promise to myself and, and, and with my team. And we decided that Awesome and Spess, because of the number of people who volunteer, because it's not just it's not just my team. We have people like Sean who volunteer to speak and wave their speaker's feet because he's that kind of man. People like Malik who perform and, and wave his feet because he's that kind of man. We decided that we want to do something more with Awesomeness Fest. And every year we want to 
turn it into completely a non-profit and give away everything that we earn to a charity of choice. And every year we're going to speak, uh, pick four charities, give away all the money. So in other words, if you get a chance to come to Austin as Fest, whatever money you pay for the ticket price, which is about 1008 goes back to serving the community. We, we, we put you on catamaran cruises, blue house on the beach in Maui. Everything's designed elegantly so everyone bonds. And whatever is left over is going to a charity. See, Bill Clinton said that if you want to contribute to the world, you can do a lot more than just money. You can contribute expertise, you can contribute objects, you can contribute time, and you can contribute skills. The beauty that we have in this group is that everyone here is a player. You guys are key influences on the planet. And so what we want to do this year in Maui is bring forth people who run amazing foundations like the Pachamama Alliance. Any of you guys heard it? Yeah. And twist. And we want to bring them on stage, have them share their story with you. And then, you know, in addition to revenue going to them, we want to see if you guys might be interested in contributing your expertise or your time. But we want to do, do more than that. And one of the nonprofits I want to support this year is Shine On Sierra Leone. Yes. So Tiffany, are you here? So because I, I had a conversation with Tiffany and she really touched me in terms of what she's doing. So anyway, if you think Maui, if you'd like to spend time with us in Maui, first weekend of November this year, about a third of you are really going to be there. I recognize the faces. How many of you were at Austin Espes in Costa Rica? Great. So all you got to do is, uh, there are a couple of members of my crew over here, just talk to them and they'll be able to give you all the details. And remember, it's for a good cause. It's like this, everyone comes together, amazing speakers, amazing events, luau's on the beach, private trips to private islands, but it's all designed to get people to bond and to raise money for causes that we really care about. So, um, Kevin, raise your hand. So Kevin, Kevin is part of the crew, so you can speak to Kevin. Just give him your business card. He'll be able to answer any questions, and you know, we'll, we'll shoot you an email. Uh, Dawn is part of our crew, and Christina, part of our crew. So talk to any of them, Christina, Dawn, or Kevin, and they'll be able to, to um, give you more information. So here's what's gonna happen next. Well, we're now gonna get back into our cars, <laughs> and go to the Urban Hotel. Everyone know where that is? Uh, anyone got the address for the Urban Hotel? Because heck, I'm from Malaysia. I, I, don't, I, I arrived less than 20 hours ago. I have no idea.